Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand the solved example 12.5. It says that resistance of a metal wire of length 1 meter is 26 ohm at 20 degree Celsius. If the diameter of the wire is 0.3 mm and this is a resistance, what will be the resistivity of the metal at that temperature using table 12.2 predict the material of the wire. Let us first find out the resistivity of the metal and then we will match that with the table 12.2. So what all details they have given us here is length that is L equals to 1 meter they have given. Along with that they have said that resistance. So resistance is R equals to 26 ohm. Then they have given the diameter. So diameter equals to 0.3 mm. Now we have to find out what will be the resistivity. Resistivity means rho. We have to find out what will be the rho for this material. Now we know the formula that we are going to use formula R equals to rho L by E. Where rho is resistivity, L is length of the wire and area is here. So from diameter we need to find out the area. Now here they have given diameter in millimeter. So this millimeter we have to convert it into meter. So millimeter to meter conversion is this is small unit we have to go towards the bigger unit so we have to divide and we have to divide with 10 raised to 3. So here when we will divide 0.3 with 10 raised to 3 we will get as an answer 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 3. As I am taking this 10 raised to 3 in numerator, I am writing here minus. I can also write 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 because this is, this is in decimal. Once I will convert it into fraction, I will get 3 by 10. That 10, I will take it in the numerator. So it will add up in this minus 3. Minus 3 minus 1 will give us minus 4. So combinedly, 0.3 millimeter will convert into 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. So this is going to be our new diameter. Now we are going to use the formula that is R that is resistance equals to rho L by E. Into this we have to find out rho. So it is R into A divided by L. But here they have given us diameter and not the area. So what will be the area of the circle? So area of any conductor that is this. So here area of cross section of the conductor will be always circle. So we know that area of circle is pi r square. Instead of r we have diameter. So I am going to write here pi d by t whole square. Because we know that radius equals to diameter divided by 2. So that formula I have written here. So this areas formula I am going to use it here. And instead of D I am going to use this number. That 3 into 10 raised to minus 4. So pi into 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 and whole square will come at the place of A. Because this will give us area of the conductor. So here resistance we know that it is 26. Now A I am going to write it last. First I am going to write L that is 1. Now this full term will come here that it is pi with that 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 and whole square. Now let us separate this square and we will get 26 into pi into 3 square is 9 into 10 raised to minus 4 8 and it is going to be minus 8. Now divided by 2 is there and that 2 square. So I am going to write here 4. So this is going to be my last term that 26 into pi. Now pi is 22 divided by 7. I can also take 3.14 into 9 and into 10 raised to minus 8. Here 4 into 2, 8. So as an answer I will get here 4, 2 to the 4 and 13 to the 26. 
So 13 into 9 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by 2 in multiplication with 5. So when I will solve this that 13 into 3.14 instead of pi I have written 3.14 into 9 and divided by 2 in multiplication with 10 raised to minus 8 I will get here as an answer 183.69 in multiplication with 10 raised to minus 8. Now if I am going to write this that 183.69 in 10 raised to minus 8 if I am going to shift this decimal point towards the left side that one decimal point and two decimal point I am shifting towards the left side then I can write here 1.8 3 or I can round off this figure because here it is 6. So instead of 3, I am going to write here 4. So 1.84 into 10 raised to. Since I have shifted this decimal point towards this side, I can write it here 10 raised to minus 6. And this is our resistivity. So unit will be ohm meter. Now this resistivity we have to check against the table 12.2. And at 20 degrees Celsius, this resistivity is matching with manganese. So this material is manganese. So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos, we are going to cover some important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.